What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. Out here at the lake today and we got the old John boat right here. We're going to be doing some John boat bass fishing. So I'm actually here at a lake that I have not been to in literally probably six or eight years. Now I've been doing YouTube now for like four and a half years or so and I know I haven't been here since I've been doing YouTube and it's been quite a while before then since I'd been out here as well. But I'm looking at the water color. The water looks really good or back in this pocket anyway because the launch is kind of back in this little finger. But one thing, we had four and a half inches of rain yesterday. We had an absolute monsoon. It was absolutely crazy. So I was kind of expecting the water to be a little bit dirtier, but I'm really glad that it's not. So what we're probably gonna be trying to do today is we're gonna be trying to find some big bass, some big pre-spawn fish, moving up into some of these fingers you know to get ready to spawn in about the next month or so water temps are climbing i don't know what the water temps here are going to be but everywhere else i've been they've been like in the low 50s and if we could have low 50 degree water temps in here today then i think we're going to absolutely smash them. we're going to try to catch them shallow throwing some moving baits or flipping if we have to Really, I just want to have a good time, catch a good bag. So what we're going to do, we're going to set the goal today at 12 pounds. We're going to see if we can catch five bass for 12 pounds. And if I don't, if I don't catch five bass for 12 pounds, I'm going to do a little giveaway in this video. So I'm actually going to give away two bags of Rage Bugs and a KVD jerk bait if I cannot get 12 pounds of bass in the boat today. So all you have to do is like, subscribe and comment down below and you will be entered into the giveaway if there is one because i have to catch 12 pounds if i don't I'm doing a giveaway but i'm going to be doing stuff like this fairly often on the channel now i think it's a good idea and uh you know that puts a little pressure on me kind of tournament style to have to catch these fish so i don't just be giving away all my money but hey i don't mind giving away something to y'all y'all are great subscribers i love my viewers and i just wanted to say that so if you've been watching for a while and you're not subscribed be sure to hit that subscribe button but enough of that let's get out here on the water let's smash some bass out of the john boat let's see if we can get it done i think we can let's get this boat put in all right y'all so just got back in the boat and i forgot my tackle box <laughs> i have no hooks i have no weights um, I luckily I do have some pliers and I do have some soft plastics and a few uh, spinner baits and chatter baits. So if they ain't on the spinner bait and chatter bait, we're gonna be a little bit screwed. Uh, you know, unless we do some flipping and we catch them. And but if we break off, we're done. So hopefully that don't happen. Let's go get them. Oh God, we got to get under this bridge. Oh God. Hopefully we can get under it. Oh yeah, we're good. Woo, she's tight though. Oh my goodness. Barely got under there. Hope damn water don't rise too much today. We'll be screwed. <laughs> I don't know how we get the boat out. We have to do something. All right, let's get it. To the first spot we got a we came up in a creek off the main lake right here and we're going to start right here in a pocket now i got to see what the water temps are because for some reason my unit up here keeps turning off not 100 sure what's up with that all right so i just switched out my fuse on my fuse panel which i really need to redo on this boat, admittingly. But let's get the net ready. I just got a feeling we're just gonna catch some giants today. I got that feeling. I mean, with the sun shining the way it is, 
just a beautiful day water temps 55 oh my goodness this could get crazy i hope it does hope it just gets nuts but we're going to work our way into this pocket right here and just kind of see see if we can get bit see what's going on go around some of this wood i mean it's deep right here like it's 19 foot but as we work up into the pocket obviously it's going to be it's going to be shallower i mean plus these fish will come up and eat this you know out of that deeper water they were doing it the other day what do we have a stick they were doing it the other day in the in the other lake i was in i mean they were coming up smoking that chatterbait i mean they were coming up in 30 foot of water it's pretty crazy We might end up flipping this stuff too a little bit we'll just kind of see what we got going on the only problem with that is like i said if we if we lose our hook and wait we're done we're done that's all we got not really sure how i forgot my tackle box but had to take everything out of my ranger and you know rearrange it to put it in here and well just kind of forgot honestly i feel like the further we get into the day i feel like the better the bite is going to get that's just me personally but I don't know you know I, i'm thinking we might see water temps in some spots up around 60. depends on how hard the wind blows the wind can really can really keep water temps down but man right now we're first thing in the morning it being 56 i mean this could get this could get really really good really good All right, so we're working our way into the next pocket right here. And this is a pocket maybe a touch bigger than the last one we fished. Not sure if this one's a little deeper. I think it's about the same. Maybe the mouth of it looks like it's a little bit deeper. But we pitched this old mock crawl around this point. I believe I did get one to bite it. Felt like it just licked it a little bit but did not hold on to it so yeah it's pretty deep right here 23 foot definitely feel like the fish are going to be on the flatter stuff personally but we're going to fish along and flip this in and it should flatten out as we work our way into the pocket but hopefully we run into a big fish working its way into the pocket and we get a bite on this mock crawl hopefully water clarity is still really good really good water clarity probably two plus foot visibility i would say like for sure but these fish with these water temps ought to be up pretty dang shallow they should be all up on this wood let's see we got to put a trailer on here Let's get us a trailer. Got one. There we go. My line was over. Got them all into the sticks right here. My line was over the uh, 
get in here. Yeah, all right. I was like, I don't know if I got a fish or not because my line was over a limb. Fish number one, he's a fatty up here. Shallow, shallow, just as shallow as can be. We're gonna weigh him. See what we got. There we go. Fish number one. Get my scale out. Ooh, this thing is dirty. Goodness gracious. Got one on the spinner bait. All right, so fish number one is going to weigh 1.74. 1.74 and we're going to lock that in spot number one all righty 1.74 thank you buddy on the spinner bait is it going to jump for us nope i mean up here in this cut way up in here got him on that spinner bait nice and the water's starting to muddy up a little bit oh my goodness y'all <laughs> what i was saying is the water is muddying up i better watch where i'm where i'm throwing because man that was almost a catastrophe but the water's kind of muddied up in here right in this area and that fish was pushed up in here but like i said as we work further and further in the back of this pocket I feel like we're gonna we're gonna get them even better. All right, so we're gonna work our way out of here, out of this creek, and we're probably gonna go back under the bridge and go back up the lake. I really don't want to do that, but I'm just so concerned that this water is gonna keep rising, and I'm not gonna be able to get back under that bridge, and that would suck because I would not be able to get back to the boat ramp and I don't know what the heck I would do, but we're gonna fish out of here, hopefully pick up another fish or two, hopefully, and then we're gonna go down and we're gonna find some areas uh, up the lake to, to fish and see if we can, see if we can get things going. A move might be good for us though, instead of staying on this end, you know, maybe the move might be, might be a good thing, but, just with these water temps, I just really thought that these fish would be up and chewing right now. And it might be like a, a later, later day push when we're probably not going to be here. But hopefully that don't happen. Hopefully we, we dial things in and get some biggins in the boat. There's one. That's a good one. There's a good one. On the spinner bait. Yep. Right there in front of that tree on this little point where I thought they should have been. He is digging. That's a good one. Oh, good. Lee. Yep. Chunk. There we go. It's a daggone good one right there. He smoked that spinnerbait. You weren't coming off, bud. You were not coming off. We're gonna have to get our pliers. I mean, absolutely choked that spinnerbait. That's a dang good one right there. Y'all check that dude out. I don't know how much this one will go. Let's see. Four, whoop, chill out. 443. 443. Yes, sir. Almost a four and a half pounder, y'all. Check that one out. Such a beautiful fish. Got him on that uh 
on that spinnerbait right there that strike king spinnerbait is what i'm throwing today but mach 2 that six foot ten inch just a medium heavy what a beautiful fish right there nice thank you bud right there on that little point man what a pretty fish Boom, yes. Man, been fishing, you know, fished all the, ba the back of this pocket. Caught that one, came back through right here. Was coming right along this front corner. And that fish smoked it. We gotta get a new trailer on here. Nice. Well, happy about that. <laughs> Cause we were, we were struggling a bit. I mean, just kind of wondering what in the world was going on. But, hey, I'll take it. I will take it. He was right there on that front corner of that point right there. He absolutely smoked it when he bit it too. Right there where he's supposed to be. Perfect. back of this pocket is most definitely flooded and a little there's another one there's another one now he's a small guy but we'll take him Ooh. little guy he's back here in the back of this pocket I don't know if the fish are just starting to bite or if we're just kind of figuring them out. I'm gonna go to spot number three. This dude here might be a pound. 1.21. 1 1.21. Little guy, thank you, though. Good deal. Back here in this pocket. I was just looking at this piece of wood right here to my left, thinking there should most definitely be a fish on that piece of wood right there. It's one thing about a spinnerbait, you try to skip it a little bit, that top blade, she will get wrapped nine times out of ten then you end up fraying your line up so you got to watch that and uh keep an eye on it because you can fray it and end up catching a big fish or hanging a big fish and whoom he's gone because you didn't retie or you didn't realize that your line was frayed from from that front blade hitting your line but be sure to keep a check on that or if you throw in trees or bushes like i just did you want to keep your eye on that too. This is like the perfect spot to get one. Like it's a tree, bunch of lay downs back here in the back of this pocket right here. Perfect. What's not perfect is the fact that my spinnerbait's not working right. What is going on here? What is going on? Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go make sure we can get under this bridge because the water's muddied up a little bit and that concerns me. That could definitely mean that a lot of uh, fresh water is coming in, which could be raising the lake and we do not wanna get hung up on this side. That would kinda, that would kinda suck a little bit. So, let's, uh, let's make our way and See if we can get the heck out of here. All righty, we came back to the pocket we were in and we're actually right at the mouth of it right now. We haven't went under the bridge yet, but we're gonna throw the spinnerbait up here. It's the wind is blowing from our back and blowing right into here so it should have some darn fish stacked up here 
A lot of good wood right here. Yeah, that wind is pushing us. That's all right. Maybe the fish will be kind of sitting right up here on that on that edge. That's a big one. That's a big one on the jig. I mean, an absolute big one. Get out of there. Yeah, baby. He ain't as big as I thought, but let me tell you, he's a nice one. He's a nice one. I threw it. Oh, God, the jig just fell out. Ooh, got lucky on that. That's a three something. Threw up there right on the other side of this log right here. I was. I was like, I know darn well there's gotta be a fish willing to bite a jig. Yes. Let me get away from here because it might be more up there on this corner. Yeah. It'd been quite a while since we had caught a fish. Quite a while. All right, let's see. What do we got here? Y'all check that one out. That's a darn fatty. see here what do we got 3.61 3.61 nice that's a chunk all right my dude old jig eater thank you that was old female full of eggs on that jig. Man, she got me all down in that in that wood. That old P-line floor carbon brought her out though. I got that mock crawl, that new mock crawl on there as my trailer. Nice. We're gonna throw up there and see if we can get another one up there. I thought that was like a big, big fish. Had me down in that wood. I was like, oh my goodness, this is a giant. <laughs> it wasn't, just a nice fish. Just a nice one. But hey, I mean, that tells me that we got a jig eater. And it was a nice fish too. So, I mean, that could mean that, oh no. That could mean that we're extremely hung. Mmm, not good. Dang. Not good. I mean, we're in ten and a half foot of water, too. We'll flip this around in this treetop right here and work our way up that left side and then we'll pick that spinnerbait back up and see if we can get something done i hope so i mean we got four fish man i want number five I want something something number five some kind of bad can't even talk all right well spinnerbait it is See if we can make make this do its magic. There's one. There's one right there on that log. Don't come off, baby. Oh, there. I mean, he smoked it. He's not a giant. I don't think I got him all that great though. We're gonna try him. Yes. Oh, I had him like in the bottom of the lip. He smoked it when I brought it over that log. Soon as we just came in here. Dad going it. All this time. 
right here over this log and he smacked it. Let's check this fish. He's going to be in the number five spot. I think this fish is going to be two and a half. Let's see. 266. 266. He might be approaching that 12 pound mark. I'm not 100% sure. But thank you, bud. Nice. 266 on that spinnerbait god he was right on that piece of wood i mean when i brought it over it he smoked it he smoked it that's what i'm talking about right there nice just come back in this pocket that fish probably just pushed in hopefully they're in here just crazy they've just been waiting for us to come back in here ready to eat thinking man i'm ready for kevin to bring his spinnerbait by my face <laughs> that'd be nice i saw that fish just i mean smoked it right as it got to that piece of wood Try more of a more of a chachus spinnerbait. See if we can do anything on that. A little bit more vibrant. That's a big one. He looked big. Ah, uh, he ain't that big, but he's nice. He's an upgrade. He smoked it when he bit it. Get in here. Oh, that is a fatty. That is a fatty right there. God, he smoked that spinnerbait. I just picked up that first gin, that white and chartreuse half ounce. Hadn't been throwing it long, and man, that dude clobbered it. What is our smallest fish? We'll look and see. Our smallest fish is 121. So we're going to replace a 121 with probably a two and three quarter. Yep, 2.82, 2.84 actually. 2.84. He smoked that spinnerbait. There we go. Thank you, buddy. Another beautiful fish. Man, got him on that, that spinnerbait. And I've showed y'all this before. It's linked in the description below. This spinnerbait is firstgenfishing.com. And I got a 10% discount code down there for y'all as well. But, I mean, this spinnerbait has this really cool painted blades. And it just gives off a completely different flash and it has very thin wire so if you know about a spinnerbait with thin wire you know it puts off like really good vibration but that fish just smoked it heck yeah that was fun when he first bit it and went sideways like it looked like it was it looked like it was 25 inches long like i don't know what what uh, made it look so long, but God, it did. We got to put another, another trailer on here. All right, y'all, last cast right here. We're going to get that in, and then we're going to look at our scale, see if we got the 12 pounds or not. Like I said, I think we did. I think we did, but we're going to check. We're going to check and see. Man, that was fun though. It was a good day, a good day of fishing. Mainly did work with that spinnerbait. 
spinnerbait did it for us today other than that one fish with the jig but let's strap everything down and let's look at this scale and see i'm gonna pull, go ahead and pull the troll motor up too let's look at this scale and see what we got going on here what do we got so we're gonna cut it on get this net in here all right so let's see Ooh, trying not to get my rod tips hung in that let's see what we had for total weight biggest fish of the day was 443 our total weight was 15.30 15.30 so haven't been here in like i said six plus years easily and i'm pretty happy with that i'm pretty happy with that because you know coming somewhere like this haven't been here in a while you kind of feel like you got to break things down figure things out um again you know from past knowledge and then things have changed on the lake new trees down water's different we had a ton of rain uh yesterday so definitely was a little bit challenging but we did pretty good i'm pretty happy with it got the old john boat out that was super fun as well and i did exceed the uh, the 15.30 but i tell you what i'm gonna go ahead and do the giveaway anyway and uh, I'm going to give away that jerkbait, a KVD jerkbait, and two bags of Rage Bugs. So be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. I'm going to pick a winner in, I don't know, a couple videos from now. I will notify you on this video from Gunfish TV. You will get a message from me. Um, you know, I'm going to pin it on this video. And be sure to message me back on Instagram um, or Gunfish TV, Facebook page, or whatever. Be sure to message me and i'll get all your information and i'll get your stuff sent out to you so i appreciate it very much thank you for watching be sure to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you next time on gunfish tv